a 21 year old student from Kerala Aditya Sahadevan had a full blown anxiety attack when he read the environmental impact assessment draft notification of 2020 yes you heard me right this is not hoax hello and namaste from pallavi welcome to eco friendly kind world this episode is going to be an eye opener for all of you who are still not believing that climate change is real who are still acting blind who are still not taking any action and just procrastinating and most importantly for those who still think that climate change has nothing to do with us today's guest aditya sahadevan is a 22 year old climate justice activist from india he is a tedx speaker and an environmental mentor at fair gaze he has been awarded outstanding young person for the year 2021 by jci aditya suffers from eco anxiety and converts it into eco activism let's welcome aditya and hear his climate action journey hi aditya how are you today i'm uh, doing good uh, thank you so much for the invite it feels um, uh, honor to be a part of this event as well that that's a sheer pleasure aditya so aditya my first question to you is tell our listeners about your findings from that environmental impact assessment report which has made you panic yeah sure uh yeah i uh, just uh, one year ago i uh, did a, a research internship on yeah, environment impact assessment that uh, was in uh, t- uh, 2020 and uh, the government released uh, um, one of the most uh, anti environment undemocratic and unconstitutional draft so i mean okay. uh, I, I, and uh, it is one of the most uh, devastating time of my life as well and uh, and uh, and i got to uh, be a part of this project uh, and it was a research internship and uh, yeah so uh, I, I, I actually i am i got super panic when i uh, read the environment impact uh, draft notification and uh, I mean, uh, the things were so plain, plain clear, and and also I was so stunned to uh, know that even the environment ministry is acting uh, ironically by aiding the industrial development than the industrial uh, ministry itself. And, and also, uh, when I was doing this research internship, I mean, I, I was totally mentally and physically, I was uh, totally off as well, and I had sin, I had a uh, 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 sinusitis, and I couldn't work as well. And my family also advised me to, uh, I mean. Just, uh, to uh, to uh, drop this project and also to take care of my health, but uh, I mean, uh, my mentor also uh, 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 told me, uh, Aditya, uh, uh, I mean, uh, you have to uh, uh, prepare the draft in a way that the government would uh, be conv- uh, convinced to uh, repeal the project. So I mean, although I was totally down, um, I mean, I mean, I was totally, uh, uh, I mean, uh, physically or mentally ex- exhausted. Um, I, uh, I thought of uh, never giving up. and uh, yeah so uh, I, i and i was having, I, i was having that of uh, total conference that um, i mean uh, at, uh, at that at that age uh, uh, that my uh, uh, my uh, draft could be able to uh, convince the public and the government that this is a uh, disaster start and it, it, it should be repealed as soon as possible yeah mm mm-hmm. Okay uh, I can totally relate with it Aditya like I have been an environmentalist since my childhood but it was couple of years back when I came across some videos on climate crisis which has completely you know I was completely devastated seeing that that you know how our actions are you know impacting the environment in a very uh, you know deteriorating way and I, I could just you know couldn't sit blind i thought i i need to do something about it so yeah this this podcast is also just one of the initiative to spread awareness about climate change so i i can totally understand what you have gone through Aditya so uh, Aditya please tell our listener about uh, this eco anxiety and how you are converting it into eco activism yeah so i mean eco anxiety is a sense of hopelessness is a sense of helplessness and it makes me numb emotional and uh, sensitive whenever whenever i witness uh, climate injustice happening around me and uh, and also uh, it clouds my mind with the thousands of questions like am i doing enough is my activism impactful am i the only person in this 
and there comes a situation uh, like uh, i've already told that when we uh, witness the the environment ministry is acting ironically by aiding the industrial development so uh, there comes a situation when we even lose uh, hope in the uh, system as well so yeah. i just uh, yeah it's That's kind of uh, yeah that gut feeling is difficult to Oh, okay, man. And, and what I really appreciate about having eco anxiety is that it develops a sense of gut feeling inside us. So uh, doesn't matter uh, that we are ha- uh, consuming. Uh, 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 doesn't matter if uh, uh, it's an ethical or unethical footprint. Uh, 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 and this gut feeling makes us to, uh, I mean, uh, to uh, do or restrain uh, from doing s- certain things. So uh, and also, yeah, I mean, although eco anxiety is, a, I mean, pessimistic term, that that means it's a fear or or it's an anxiety related to environment. uh it has also helped me be a better person as well and it, it has uh, it has not only helped me uh to make my surroundings better and also the people around around me better but also it has also made me a better person as well to be frank and uh, i mean uh, uh yeah so i started my uh, activism uh, as a writer and uh, and uh, now have uh, i don't know what uh, 20 plus uh, keynote speeches on uh, climate change and and then i'm really pr- uh, proud of the way i come from uh from that i mean i, had, um, I, I extended my I, and extended and I expanded my uh, scope uh, to make sure that i educate a lot of people and so so eco anxiety is a, um, is in my case it's a fuel as well so uh, which makes me to uh, cut short my carbon footprint and also yeah uh, so yeah uh, it, it has really helped me a lot and uh, uh, it tries me to take uh, more green resolutions absolutely aditya yeah and I, i hope everybody understand this and you know start acting on climate change now i mean they can just start with uh, small basic steps in their daily life right just by uh, you know uh, using a bicycle instead of a car or just just you know refusing the plastic whatever they use the single use plastic we use in our daily life yeah, yeah. i hope everybody is aware as you are aditya so aditya can you tell more about your initiatives and activities which you are doing on daily basis for environmental protection yeah sure i mean uh, i'm basically a climate educator and i'm more into education and uh, okay. yeah so I, i've taken over uh, 20 plus uh, keynote speeches and uh, and also I, i've written over uh, 20 plus articles on environmental awareness as well and me i mean uh, uh my long term vision is to create to make sure that uh, there is climate education uh in the in the academic curriculum as well so i'm i'm working on that as well i'm working on a certificate course uh, uh like i said uh, uh, i'm the environmental fag fagis so uh, uh, right now i'm uh, i'm working on uh, creating a certificate uh, course uh, for, uh, uh, for uh, for fagis so i mean yeah uh, uh, my uh, anisha is all about uh, creating um, uh, uh, i mean awareness through education so mm-hmm. yeah uh, yeah and uh, okay so you are yeah. uh, educating people about uh, climate yeah, change education. and you know how they can adopt yeah, a sustainable thing that that's yes. very inspiring got it yeah so educating and empowering uh, people is my i mean it's my passion and it's my purpose of my life otherwise i would totally feel futile i mean uh, a day with do, doing something related to environment makes me totally makes me futile um, uh, makes me i mean uh, it makes me feel that uh, i mean it makes me uh, <laughs> uh, equivalent to death so yeah i totally agree yeah i mean we all are you know responsible for it so definitely it's it's our duty to act on it now and the, that's there is a well saying and i have also heard you saying in your tedx talk that the best time to act on climate change was decades ago and the second best time is right now right yes. so i hope all your initiatives and uh, your the awareness which you are trying to spread through your education will reach more and more people so aditya one message to the world and the people who are still acting blind what would you like to say to them yeah i mean i have a strong message to the people uh yeah so uh in real action have impacts uh, uh which is uh, implied uh, it can be positive or it can be negative impact uh, so let uh, uh, let me give an example so uh, uh, an email emits about uh, 20 grams of carbon dioxide hmm? so uh, and every year about 
60 trillion spam mails are sent across the world, which is powered by massive 30 billion tons of electricity. And that accounts for about 20 million tons of gross carbon dioxide emission. So uh, whenever we do something, we have to calculate the carbon footprint on the basis of a population basis, or uh, we have to take the case of macro perspective rather than micro perspective. So uh, mm. yeah, yeah. Uh, then only it gives a better understanding about um, h- how much liable we are, the amount of mm. carbon footprint we are. We, we each are contributing towards it. So uh, the, uh, 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 the carbon footprint from this spam mail, uh, 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 just from the spam mail alone, uh, is about is about 20 million tons of carbon dioxide. So I mean, so each of us is personally, and in, I mean, so we are all individually liable for contributing towards this 20 million tons of carbon dioxide, which instigates impacts of climate change, which results in the death of five million people every year. So I mean, mm-hmm. uh, we have to think from uh, uh, from this perspective that uh, yeah. yeah. So, uh, 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 for example, even this uh, 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 even this one to one session on climate change um, is also having a uh, 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 does also have a carbon footprint because we are accessing mm-hmm. it through our electronic devices, which is powered by non renewable resources, which has also a carbon footprint. Uh, since it is all all, all uh, 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 powered and uh, processed through data centers, right? So it's a carbon footprint. So yeah. even for good, there's a carbon footprint. So we have to understand that perspective. Only, only then we can uh, we'll be able to uh, I mean uh, uh, understand how le- uh, how uh, humongous and hidden the carbon footprint is. But I mean I am not I'm not, I'm not condemning this sustainably held virtual events. But uh, what I was trying to ch- uh, uh, say is to change our perspective on how we understand certain things. Uh, uh, that e- yeah. E- uh, yeah. So even for good things, there's a carbon footprint. So, uh, it doesn't yeah. matter. It's not, it, it, it is an ethical or unethical footprint. Uh, yeah. Uh, if it's a, uh, doesn't matter. If it is a, uh, if it's an ethical footprint, doesn't mean we have to uh, neglect the carbon footprint, right? Still, mm-hmm. we have to find ways to uh, neutralize the carbon footprint. So, uh, yeah. 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 So I mean, so, so like I said, individual action how impacts, which can be positive or negative, and uh, let's make sure that it's a positive one. And uh, and uh, yeah. So I. I I also have to. Uh, I, I, I also have to uh, give a, a special message on. I mean, uh, empowering people. And mm-hmm. it just uh, yeah, it just uh, made me a better person as well. It's also uh, impacted my activism as well. And I just, I just when I realize the power of individual action. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, yeah. So, so when I realize the power of individual action, it, it, it has made me to t- uh, take uh, more green resolutions from a uh, to a sustainable diet to. Uh, detox in Netflix since watch Netflix and it's about 0.6 kilogram of carbon dioxide to uh, yeah uh, 0.6 kilogram of uh, carbon dioxide so uh, at this age uh, uh, I, I mean most of the people are relying on Netflix for I mean uh, Netflix uh, uh, for uh, uh, for having fun time or time killing I mean I, I chose uh, not to have uh, even uh, I chose not to have, uh, uh, go with the trend mm-hmm I chose it. Uh, I chose it a uh, different path of. I mean, even I could uh, uh, save a little bit of carbon dioxide from not watching Netflix. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Makes yeah, sense. So, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, let me give uh, one more example. So, uh, like I said, uh, individual action have impacts, and uh, I mean, mm-hmm. but, uh, but most often people are right about individual action. It is evident because uh, had it been without that, our oceans wouldn't have been polluted with eight million tons of plastic products. Because yeah. every time someone drops a plastic bottle, we feel it's just one. But sadly, this was exact same thought that seven billion people had been there through a plastic bottle. So I mean, uh, um, uh, maybe we could uh, uh, reverse this mindset by not throwing the plastic bottle, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's my special message to the people who, who are listening to this. So watch your doors. I mean, watch your dog carbon footprint. That, that's very insightful, Aditya, and yeah, it makes so much of sense to me. I hope it does to all the listeners as well. If you are just aware of your own action, just just look at your daily action and in whatever way you can reduce your carbon footprint, that would be a great help for the planet. So absolutely, I, I agree with you, Aditya. Thank you so much for joining us today and inspiring me and all our listeners. And I wish you all the very best in all your initiatives. And may you reach more and more people. May your voice reach to you know millions of people and to all the world that start acting on it now. Thank you so much, Aditya. 
thank you so much for uh, giving me this uh, platform and also uh, let's make sure that we introspect our, our own actions and uh, not just by uh, always blaming the corporates and industries for this carbon footprint so just uh, i mean uh, we are also liable for uh, contributing towards climate change so uh, yes. yeah so uh, let's make uh, uh, tiny tiny resolutions and uh, when these resolutions are done by 7 billion people it becomes a revolution so so just like that exactly, climate, yeah, uh, people act, to climate revolution that yeah. it's so true and if your actions collectively you know creates yeah. a bigger impact so yeah. just don't bother about what others are doing don't bother about what system is doing you know and it is government responsibility don't blame anyone just look at your action and just try to convert it into yeah. a positive one right that would be a great help Absolutely. thank you so yeah. much aditya So yeah. yeah, so let's combat Thank climate change collectively. Yeah, I agree. Thank you for yeah. joining us today, and stay tuned for more such inspiring climate activist story. Bye bye.